Hello friends, welcome back to lmsdaily.com. In today's video, we will see how you can run Moodle 4.3, which is the next major Moodle version to be released soon, on a Windows computer. Earlier, I have shared a video on using XAMPP to install Moodle 4.1, but unfortunately, if you see the latest version of XAMPP uh, does not contain the required softwares or the required dependencies to run Moodle 4.2 or Moodle 4.3 versions. So as you can see on my screen, I am on the Apache Friends website, which is the official website for the XAMPP. And here on the topmost version, which is the 8.2.4, uh, it is running the PHP 8.2.4, but the database MariaDB is not sufficient enough to run the latest version of Moodle. So in this video, I will show you how you can run Moodle 4.2 and Moodle 4.3 on your Windows computer. So let's get started. Now instead of using XAMPP, I will be showing you the installation process by using another software which is named as VAMP. So I have shared the link of this VAMP server in the description section below. So if you are looking to download it, you can click on the link and download it. Now I will just go to this download folder and download the 30, oh sorry, 64 bit for my laptop. Okay, so now I have downloaded the VAMP file and now I will just install it on my Windows computer. Now, uh, when you are installing this VAMP server, there are some steps which you need to follow and they are listed here in this Page, if you notice that we have to run different Visual C++ packages and then disable uh, close the Skype, disable IIS and so on. So you need to make sure that all these prerequisites are already completed by you. I will just click next and you can set up the directory where you would like to install this VAMP. So I will just keep it to C drive and then click next. Now here you can uh, choose either to go with the default installation or you want to go with the custom installation. So I will just go with the default installation and I will choose this MariaDB to be the 10.10.2 version which is higher than what Moodle 4.2 and Moodle 4.3 needs. So I will just click on next and then click next and click install. So now it will take a couple of minutes to install this VAMP server. So now it is asking the default browser to be used by VAMP server. So I will just uh, choose another browser here instead of Edge. And I will go with the default notepad. So now we have this VAMP server installed on our computer. And I will just click on finish to exit the setup. Now let us first of all run this vamp server as you can see on my system tray it is not yet running so i will just uh, run this vamp so now you can see that it is showing me that all the services are running now let us see in the system tray, yes, it is showing that all the services are running. So I will just go to the local host page and see what it shows me. Okay, so now we have our VAMP server running on our Windows computer. Now it is the time to start installing the Moodle 4.3 version. I have just downloaded the Moodle 4.3 dev version. So you can also download it from the Moodle development website. Uh, it is under the downloads and then uh, the dev releases here and once you have downloaded it you can go to the, your 
vamp folder you need to go to the directory where you have installed your vamp uh, server so and then go to the www directory and here you need to create a new folder and let me say that moodle 4 3 and d i'm just giving a nomenclature like for 4.3 version and dev version now i will just extract all the moodle files here in this uh, folder so here i am and i will just click download sorry extract and extract them okay so we have got the moodle files ready in our www directory now i will just go to this page moodle 43d in the local host page and let us see what it shows me okay so it is showing me the installation prompt for the moodle now i will just click on next and let me go with the default paths here here in the database driver i will go and choose the mariadb here and then click on next now as of now i have not yet created a database in the php my admin which i need to create right now so i will just go to localhost and slash php my admin the default username is the root and it is without the password so you need to leave the password field blank and then choose this service uh, server choice to MariaDB and then click on login now we are on the PHP my admin page so we have to create a database here for Moodle so I will just create a database like Moodle 43d and then I will choose the utf8 underscore sorry where it is okay and then click on create so now we have our database also created in the php my admin now i will go back to the moodle installation page here uh, i will just give the database name as moodle 43d and database user is root password is blank and then click on next let's see what it shows sorry it is taking a bit longer time but yes it has connected with the database so it is showing us the license agreement and let us click continue here now comes the most interesting part of this installation now as you can see we are on the uh, server check page and we have these two conditions which are not yet okay for the Moodle installation you can see that it is showing that version 10.6.7 is required and you are running 8.0.31 so now we have to figure it out how to address this and then secondly we have to uh, enable the PHP extension sodium so first so first I will address this PHP extension sodium and show you how you can enable that on vamp so just click on this vamp icon and then go to the PHP and then go to PHP extension and here on the left side you can see that we have an extension named as uh, sodium so I will just click on this and I will just wait for this to update the settings okay i have got an error maybe let us click on continue and see what it shows i will just reload this page okay so now we have the php sodium extension installed now i need to check out how to address this error version 10.6.7 is required and you are running 8.0.31 now let us go back to our web server and go for a right click instead of the left click and then click on this vamp setting now here 
you need to make sure that you have enabled this MariaDB and once it is enabled then you need to go back to your VAMP and click on the left one here uh, for the MariaDB you need to check here uh, under the MariaDB and then go to use a port other than uh, 3307 so I will just click on this one and choose 3306 and click OK So it will again update the settings for the VAMP server and hopefully we are up, we are done with the updating settings. So I will just click on reload. And still it is showing the error. So, okay, so we had to go back to VAMP server and then again left click on this one and go to MariaDB and then let me say use a port other than 3307 and here I will mention 3310 for example and it is showing me that it shall be between 3301 to 3309 so let me change back again sorry and again go back here go to MariaDB and then click this one and let me say give it 3303 so now we shall have this running and in the Moodle database configuration I have to go back and change the reload it once. Okay. Okay, so I have completely uh, removed the Moodle directory and again started the installation process from the scratch and here on this database settings page I have just changed this database port from default to blank it was earlier blank and now I have added 3303 and let us see how it goes let us click continue here now you can see that uh, the error for the MariaDB is not there anymore but still we have few uh, one more error which is about this max input spheres and it has to be at least a default value of 5000 so let me show you how you can fix that uh, I will go to VAMP and again click on this left icon and then here go to PHP and then click the php.ini file here now here you need to find out this field max input squares and as you can see that it is having a value of 2500 so let me make it as uh, the 5000 which is the bare minimum requirement and click control s so i have saved this file and then close this text editor and again click on reload so no it is not yet reflecting here so let me see how I can do that okay so I need to restart the web server so let me right click on this one and I will sorry just left click on this one and click on this restart all services and we have to wait until this turns green again and as you can see now it has turned green so let me click on reload of this page okay so now our server is meeting all the minimum requirements it is still asking for one more thing which is about the HTTPS uh, error but let us go through with this continue and let us complete our installation process of Moodle 4.3 on Windows computer it will take a couple of minutes to complete the installation process okay so now we are completed with the installation so let us click continue here over here you can enter the credentials for the admin user and I will just keep it to whatever I have already saved and I will give my address here 
and then just click on update profile so this will be the site administrator for the Moodle site and now it will take us to the Moodle site configuration which is the front page settings and where we have to give the site name and set up how the home page will be displayed so let us enter as Moodle 43 dev and I will copy the same for the short name also everything else I will leave as it is and here you need to mandatorily enter a support email address so I will just put in here and click on save changes all the other settings I have left them to the default and now congratulations we have got our Moodle 4.3 running on our Windows computer so I will just show you by going to the site admin and then to the notifications page here you can see that on this localhost website we are running a Moodle 4.3 beta version and in a similar way you can also install the Moodle on your Windows computer using the web server if you have faced any other problem while face, uh, following this uh, screencast please don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments section below and I will be happy to help you out. Thank you very much for watching this video.